Hey guys, welcome to the Overland Expo Mountain West and welcome to the GMC booth. What we have here is something really special. This is a concept vehicle GMC put together and it may showcase the future of the GMC Canyon. Now this is what they call the Canyon AT4 Overland X and it's hiding some really interesting gadgets and gizmos underneath. So what is it? Well, it obviously starts life out as a GMC Canyon but the GM team really went crazy with turning this into a very cool Overland style vehicle and they really paid attention to the details. So not a huge number of off the shelf components, a lot of custom made stuff. My favorite part so far is the front end design. So obviously it's got the GMC Canyon headlights, but the bumper is just gorgeous. Look at that fitment, obviously big, beefy and stands there proud, but it doesn't look overwrought as so many off-road bumpers do. And look how they incorporated this LED light bar into this cross member that extends from one end to the other end of the bumper. Very flush fitment across the headlights down along the grill. It almost looks production ready. I hate to say that, but it really does. Now below that, you'll notice the Hummer inspired recovery points, obviously painted red because if they're not red, a recovery point doesn't work. But genuinely, I do think that this is a very cool design, kind of like a D-ring that you would see in almost a military uh, design from the old Humvee era of uh, vehicles. Now check out the integrated winch to hidden design. You wouldn't know the winch is there if it wasn't for the red recovery hook, obviously made by Warren with the controller poking out there so you can uh, wire it in and then, you know, recover yourself or another vehicle. So up top here, we've got the limb risers that extend from the roof to the front of the hood. Not sure I've ever seen one of these on a Canyon, but definitely a cool look. Black hood graphic um, right in the middle of the hood that says 84 along the side. My favorite kind of attention to detail point, take a look at this grill design and then take a look at the design up here on the snorkel. So they've actually mimicked the grill design in the snorkel grill, which I just think is a really, really nice attention to detail. So coming along the side here, something a little bit interesting, not the AEV wheels, not the BF Goodrich mud terrain cam three tires, but what's underneath. Yep. Those certainly do look like the DSSV shocks from the Colorado ZR2. Now the Canyon 84 is largely an appearance package on top of a Canyon. So you do get some additional off-road accessories, but it's not as crazy as the Colorado ZR2, its cousin that has the locking diffs and the crazy shocks. But what they've done with this concept is bring a lot of those features from the Colorado into the Canyon. So if you take a look at the interior, for example, down there, see if I can get a shot of those. There they are, lockers. That's right, front and rear locking differential just like the ZR2, but being a canyon, you have a slightly nicer interior, in my opinion, than the Colorado. So we got these beautiful brown stitched leather seats with AT4 there in the headrest, stitched leather steering wheel. Um, I really hope that this is a sign that we are going to see a full-fledged off-road version of the canyon. Now, of course, the Colorado is a very similar truck in its design. Um, uh, actually, I should say in its engineering, but I much prefer just a squared off look of the canyon. I think it's a slightly cleaner, crisper design. So big wide fender flares with these little accents there along the sides of them. Same thing in the rear, cut out for the rear door. And then we've got a really big off-road camping setup mounted on the back. So it's got this full metal cab topper with built-in propane cabinets along with water and fuel. And then up top, you'll find a rooftop tent, a hinging style that hinges up from the front and allows access at the rear. And then out back here, you've got a deck system with a Dometic fridge. It's got are those fake Max tracks, but some kind of Max track system back there. Um, very clean setup. Obviously, this does take up the entire uh, bed area, bed space, but the decks, of course, do slide out. There we see a, a, a high lift in that one. Bed lined, of course, and then in the rear, Looks to be pretty similar to the AEV Brute Design bumper, but once again, check that out. We see those red uh, recovery points that are squared off like you'd find on an old school Humvee. Now coming along the side, you'll notice that it does have a full-size spare tire that is mounted to a swing-out gate that's mounted down there to the rearmost uh, slider. And then on this side, I love this. We've got ourselves a little cooker back here. Look at the glass storage. This is all foam and then the glasses just slot in there. We've got all our cooking tools along top and then the 
uh, teapot ready to go and then this just kind of swings out and pivots down and then that all becomes covered up alu cab uh, of course also um, did the awning here so you've got a full what's a 270 degree awning great place to hang out maybe set up some chairs maybe a table rock rails along the side but overall a very cool looking build now judging by the exhaust if we see that there that indicates that this is a 3.6 liter v6 not the little turbo diesel although i imagine if you wanted to do a overland um, build like this to really take it long distance the diesel would be my first choice and then up top here snorkel with that little grill insert which i just think is so cool but i think gmc has done a very very nice job with this build i like the color scheme i really like the fit and finish of all the materials it does feel very much oem and i'm wondering if we'll see stuff like this fender flare maybe even the front bumper design become incorporated into future gmc models that would be very very cool so they're saying 10 inches of ground clearance 33 inch tall tires multimatic shocks as we discussed it has more um, underbody protection I don't know i'm really digging this i love the canyon the canyon is one of my favorite mid-size trucks on the market i just wish they had gone full zr2 when designing the at4 model but it looks like someone in the concept division finally has made that happen so let me know what you think of this rig in the comments section below is this something you would be interested in buying i mean certainly the gladiator rubicon the colorado zr2 uh tacoma trd pro are very much off-road focused vehicles that can be prepped in a similar manner no one has really come out and done a true overland build from the factory yet we've seen a lot of concepts such as this one but maybe gm will be the first to make it happen so yeah i think that pretty much sums it up i'll go ahead and give you one more walk around see if we miss any of the unique gadgets and gizmos maybe the more hidden features these alu cabs are very neat. They are very expensive in the aftermarket if you want to add a topper in the aluminum look to your vehicle. And then not quite as simple to pull on and off as maybe a soft topper or a fiberglass cap, but super heavy duty. And honestly, I think if you are going to go the route of sleeping on top of your vehicle, on top of a topper, the aluminum construction, probably the way to do it. So propane integrated on this side. We discovered that earlier. Yeah, very cleanly done. Now, Jeep is known for their concepts. They come out with them every year at the Easter Jeep Safari. And it looks like GMC is trying to tag on to that, that, that kind of philosophy a little bit here at the Overland Expo West, which, by the way, is enormous. It's got a ton and ton of Tacomas, but you also have weird builds like um, Kenworth and Internationals. And there's a whole Unimog display out there. So if you're interested in not only mid-sized trucks and forerunners and that kind of thing, come out to the Overland Expo West. Um, people are very nice here, very willing to let you kind of poke around their interesting builds. Well guys, I think that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Check out TFL, tflofroad.com for the latest and greatest in new truck reviews.